Hogwarts is going to be a tough opponent. I'm excited. This is the first time because we were at Flashpoint. We saw Dig play, but they did not have Holzer. This is my first time casting them with this lineup that they're so excited about. Yeah, you're right. That's going to be something that I'm looking forward to as well. I didn't even really think about that. Woxic already getting tagged. There is a smoke, but they're not going to respect it. They come through for Chris J, and Holzerk will take him down. Get right. Actually, just continuously running around the corner. He'll get taken down by Robs, and they're trying to get out here, but running into some of those powerful pistols. Frozen is finally down, and it's a three on three. Look at Kerrigan in ladder room, though. That's a huge kill to get. I think Dig needs to find a way out. Right now, bomb is being planted, and this is an impossible angle. That's an impossible situation for Exist. Walks it going to give it up. Rop starting to push forward, and Exist still not checking behind him. This is all down to timing. It exists. I think it's just going to be a free kill. Here comes Rop, turning the corner. Easy headshot. Holsirk finding one to execute, but the bomb is so far away. They don't have a kit right now, but he still has to get very, very close. And yeah, they're coming off the bomb instead. They're going to have to wait for him to actually go down. They're doubling up on him. He's going to take down one more. And suddenly it's a one versus one. He's still going to go down. Robs will find him and find a kit and win the round. That is close. I can't believe Robs didn't even just stick that right off the bat with the bomb not planted for Holsirk whatsoever. They gave Halzerk a real chance to win that one versus three, and he got very close. If Rops doesn't hit that one tap, Halzerk can play the time like a beast. One to nothing for Mouse Sports, but that's a close pistol round. That really was. I mean, I guess, yeah, he, he maybe even could have just stuck it the first time around, but a little bit of, uh, of nerves showing, perhaps. They still end up winning the round. And they buy uh, an exotic selection of weapons here. Just whatever they could get their hands on on the CT side. Now, here's, here's the interesting thing. I still don't know where to put mouse sports because I, I know we have this whole online era of Counter-Strike and we're back to some uncertain dark times in terms of results. But, man, they've, they've lost four of their five last series. They've lost to Mad Lines, Big, Complexity, and Godsent. Their only win recently in, in a full-blown MR15 series was against Copenhagen Flames. So, I mean, they're they're having a just a tough time at the moment getting things figured out. And now yeah. even more, Dig has a two-man lead in this second round. They're about to lose their advantage gained by winning the pistol. I don't think they were ready for that one AK-47 in play. I definitely don't think he was ready out at Ivy for that boost on top of the smoke. Those are two kills that go unreturned at all. Not even any damage being output there from Mouse Sports. And they are definitely in trouble. Robs could be walking into even more trouble. I think this angle is being held by Freiburg with that Deagle. We'll see if he's going to be able to actually pick up the kill. 50 seconds on the clock. Get right is also snuck in behind. Oh, no. He's infiltrated the lineup, and that should be pretty much a free kill here. Oh, setting it up. Missing a chance and missing another one, but finally gets the job done. <laughs> Oh, he did such a good job lurking. He didn't even have to have to have a clean shot. <laughs> it took everything. Nice, nice frag from Halzerk. And Frozen is feeling oh so lonely in a one versus five, stuck in ladder room as well. I love the call from Dig though. Once Get Right gets that lands at the inner bomb site, they can just wait. He's got such a powerful flank. There's no reason for them to attack before he's in position. So good call from Dig. A good second round victory. Yeah, it really is. I mean, again, the the start of this round was just. Pretty much for free for them. So they're going to be excited about that. Just going to tie it up one to one. And I mean, Frozen, don't know if there's anything he can accomplish in this round. So we'll have to wait a little bit. That's going to, I mean, that if you're a dig right now, the one thing you obviously want to avoid is the is the theoretical double up setup. So when you win the second round like this, you, you actually push that quite out far into the future before they could do that. And that's got to feel pretty good. Ooh. <clears throat> Get right coming in. One HP on Frozen. It's all down to timing, and it's not with Frozen at all whatsoever. So we're all tied up. Ooh. Good round from Dig. Good kills from Holzerk with that AK-47. He's up to five. I mean, this, he looked. He I just, think this. I. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say he looked so confident in the first kill on Carrigan there. Walking in the main, he was just. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting this one. Yeah, I, I'm really interested in seeing how this dig team performs throughout, throughout this spring showdown because, I don't know, they seem like probably the team in professional Counter-Strike at the moment that has the most to play for, protecting like the legacies that they had from NIP early on. But also, like, I don't think, I can't think of a single person who necessarily thinks that this dig experiment is going to be successful. And you have to imagine these players are, are fighting to prove everyone wrong for the most part. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, I actually do feel for them in that sense, because if, if it fails, then, 
you know, a lot of people would have said, man, if, if only they would have done this switch, you know, three years ago, it, they could have actually really built something. And that, that's a lot of pressure on, on every one of them, I kind of agree. Chris, though, missing a big opportunity, and it'll be Holzerk to start off the round, taking him down. We've got Deagles all across the board here for the Mouseforce side. So, some danger in, yeah. in getting some cool 1Ds like that. Oh, nice shot from Frozen. Kerrigan on top of the train. The flashbang destroys his chance at killing Forest. He's down to 8 HP. It's Toxic and Rops. And they're both back deep behind the trains for the moment as the bomb is going to start moving forward. But look how patient Dig is being on train here after these initial contacts. We've seen it a couple rounds now. They get their, they get their foothold in the yard. They get their foothold outside. And they just kind of wait for the reaction. And that's a good play. I mean, again, the pressure is not on them just yet. Still have time to put the bomb down. Sneaking in underneath all of them is Woxic, and he didn't just want the one kill. He actually wants to set up a whole number of them. See if he could find enough of them. <laughs> There's one. He turns for it. He's ready. And I mean, he had that pretty well mapped out in his mind, but that was a that was difficult with the weapon that he had. Yeah, that's just a dig. I mean, even with that kind of a passive setup that I like so much, taking their eyes off one portion of the yard. No one looking towards old hell. And he's able to wheel his way into position. Two to one for Dig, and that second round full investment from Mouse Sports Deagle and Armor, that puts a huge dent in the early money for the Mouse Sports defense. So they're gonna, gonna have to sit back on just pistols, P250 on Voxic, USPs on everyone else, and a Zeus on Rops. We'll see what he can get done with that. Rops's play in ladder room is something to keep your eyes on because he's so good in that position on both sides of the map, both at CT and T. Yeah, you're right. It's actually a lot of fun to watch. So far, he's taken it up over towards the B-bomb site, but I, I tend to agree. It's it's definitely interesting to see. That early AWP on Holzerk, definitely uh, a bit of a benefit to them. Shooting forest in the legs. It's not what I was expecting, but but whatever. Ooh, Forrest gonna turn in. Good aggressive stance. Kerrigan's giving him a dink. Again, Kerrigan just cannot clean up Forrest. One HP. He's cert- How is he alive? I have no idea how Forrest found his way out of that. Freiburg is gonna pay the price instead. And starting to get some flanks coming in. Now, Dig just handling these USPs at range. And I think even Holzerk's footsteps gave it away. And Rops does not want to mess with that. Yeah, he's not interested in that fight. Hard to blame him. Still maybe wants to find a way to use the taser if he can get, you know, close enough. Sap someone with it. Seems unlikely at this particular point in time. But even this next round for Mouse Sports, I mean, it's going to be a, a decent buy, but it won't be won't be supercharged, will it? The round loss will have started to kick in, and they've got the, the money saved there. So we'll see if Mouse Sports want to, I mean, want to go aggressive and play forward towards A main especially. I'm kind of curious about that, or if they want to leave it alone for a minute. Rob's not... Not actually finding anyone. Surprising lack yeah, of, that's, that's of a little fight. Bit. Yeah, that's a that's a little bit sad for him. Everyone from Dig, they're playing a pretty pretty a pretty disciplined game so far with the way they've been approaching these situations. All four players evacuating in the same area back towards Tcon. Rops will get his chance at long range, and Forrest is oh, going to no. die to the bomb. That's a bit silly, but he had one HP. How are you supposed to know? I don't know. I don't know. Take some chalk and draw the outline on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that bomb. I don't know. That's a good point. How are you supposed to know? I mean, if he pushes far enough away, right? He walks right into the USP from Rops. Yeah, that's probably what he was trying to avoid. Three to one. And yeah, a buy coming out of Mouse Sports with some C. No diffuse M4s. kit. M4s. Hmm. Yep, no kit, no op. This is going to be a challenge. Good positioning from Get Right. Oh, he's had two chances now, and he lost them both. That's a nice frag from Frozen, but he's got more to do. He sees Freiburg over in ladder room. He knows what's coming. Nade is out. Freiburg hasn't peaked just yet. That nade lands right on him. What a headshot. A stunning shot from Freiburg to find the equalizer. Not letting Frozen go, and I mean, that smoke that goes up in main would have been enough, to, I think, to let Frozen get away. Now instead, Kerrigan going down. That was Holzerg looking over the smoke, even though it did register as a smoke kill. He definitely saw him over. And now it's a four on three. Chris sneaking close to the main. Oh, you're right. He's already exist. got it's out there. It's his turn to make the play. Yeah, this is going to be intense. Chris J in middle, dropped by Forrest. And essentially a free setup here. He's calling it in, so even then, Woxic is not going to be able to get any kills here or shouldn't be able to get any challenges. He's just walking up. They're making absolutely sure. What a great play coming out. And that's the round in their favor.
Wow, four to one now in favor of Dig. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a good early showing from Dig here on train. Four to one. They've taken the guns away now from Mouse Sports. They've depleted their money again, and Mouse Sports looking a little bit stumped. I don't know if you had any of these conversations, Anders, when we were actually, I mean, oddly enough, this has happened when we were at Blast in, in London to start the year when we were still able to, to travel. Um, you started to hear a few players kind of talk about how good Dig actually was playing in practice, which like not trying to put too much on it, but that was maybe like the first promising sign for this Dig lineup that they were getting a decent amount of respect, respect from players for how they were looking in practice. Yeah, and I, I do actually remember, I remember what you're talking about here, and I, there was even a part of me that was thinking, I felt like maybe the incentive would be to, to sort of almost do the opposite for many players to say, you know what, it's just a joke, like what, a, what an absolute joke team, but um, that's obviously not the case. I think, I think actually many of us might have been completely underestimating them, which is, I think it's exciting, it's we, really exciting. Yeah. We actually had a, we had a, there was a player in the pro scene who actually told us that they, their utility usage is better than Astralis. At the time, which was which was a little bit mind blowing. Um, so, I mean, listen, might be hyperbole. We'll see how it plays out. But at the moment, at the very least, four to one lead. They're looking much better with Halzerk in this roster. He's eight and one. Forest is five and one. That helps out a lot, doesn't it? If they could just have, I mean, two out of five do a lot of the fragging. As long as the rest keep up, you know, with the fundamentals and and you know don't don't make any big mistakes. That's already that's a good foundation, if nothing else. It's looking really decent here. He's locked in. He's got his curtains drawn in his in his little battle station room going on there, Jason. I like it. <laughs> it's the only way to have a, a proper home gaming setup. Curtains drawn. Yeah. All the darkness. Just o only light you need is coming from that monitor. <laughs> you know you know you're getting old when you need the light turned on in your gaming room. <laughs> Trying to save your eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Exist not wanting to uh, to take any peaks down there, and there is a Deagle waiting for him. Also a scout in play on Robs, but it should be a fifth round here for Dig if they can avoid the stack that's going on in the A yard. In theory, yeah. Here's here's where I think the online play is gonna hurt Mouse Sports and help Dig. As we mentioned, Dig has something to fight for. They haven't established themselves at a top team. Every every official game for them matters in a big way. Yeah. For Mouse Sports who have who have you know played so many lands recently and have gotten to the top and won five in a row, this online play is probably feels like more of an inconvenience. And that's where you have to be careful if you're Mouse Sports. That needs to be a constant source of conversation for the team to just say be focused. Don't overpeak. Don't lose your patience in these rounds, especially against a slow-paced dig team. Just sit back and don't try and do too much. Yeah, and they, I mean, you know, they're you know, mostly a, a really young team here on the mouse sports side, so keeping that focus definitely, yeah, but they probably want to just roll out and get some and get some kills and to try and do it. Frozen with a couple of good ones there with the Deagle, and he's still alive, miraculously back here behind the bomb train. Actually, it's a 2 on 3 Some more grenades raining in. He can't see anything at all. He'll get taken right down. Another kill from Holzerk. Smoke fades, and Kerrigan will take down Freiburg. I don't know why he wasn't ready, but Clock. he wasn't. Yeah, oh no! Another one for Kerrigan. A big double, and that is a steal. That's a huge steal. That's that's a great round from Rops as well. We saw him have a phenomenal scout round uh, in Mirage yesterday against Navi. Here again, I think he got what? I think he got three tags, maybe two tags and a kill, all from Old Bomb, all from way back down the alley. And that's the one area that Dig did not have smoked off. Good kills from Frozen on the bomb train as well. But there's a few easy cleanups as Dig A is closes in on the bomb train. Oh, even a fifth Laren cam we have going on. I'm excited. I'm I'm real excited now. Look at the pacing. That's One really shot from Force and a response from Chris J. Yes, it has. Fifty cam. Didn't didn't expect it. <laughs> it sounds so cute. It does. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that alone for a second. Double up now. That was a <laughs> threat from earlier, wasn't it? It's Chris J and Woxic to pick it up and um, that. That is something that they're going to have to find a way around here. Now, maybe, maybe Holsoak just is the tool to get rid of, uh, of at least one or maybe both of those AWPs. He's been pretty powerful with it. But if not, you know, it's going to have to... You're going to have to put down some pretty good smokes and, and do something while they're down. Really exploit that situation if you can. 
They're waiting around a lot here. They're, they're, they may be expecting some sort of reaction coming out from our sports, and it, it's not coming. No, not yet, but I think they're also, you know, you're you're also making mouse sports sweat. And they've rotated a player back towards the B bomb site, so it's just two defenders here. When you have this little manpower on the outer site, you have to kind of play it passively. So Kerrigan at bomb train, walks it way, way back with that AWP. There's a lot of space in that outer yard for Dig to exploit. And here comes the utility, now starting to encroach and push forward. Freiburg can play the lurk in this scenario. Yeah, but he really wants to just at least look at the angle. Shoulder peak, but not going to be patient enough. And Woxic will take him down. Didn't bite on that first little elbow showing. Kerrigan on top of the bomb train itself, and he'll get the kill. Trying to prevent the bomb plant from actually even going down. With eight seconds left, the bomb. Oh, trying to shoot under the train. was a clever idea, but actually doesn't get the kill at all. So now it's a one versus three. Holzerk with just the AWP on top of the train here. And if they peek him, he can't even see it there. Lack of the scope there will stop him from seeing anything, and that will be a round for Mouse Sports, and actually a pretty good cleanup. That's a very nice round for Mouse Sports. They handled that well. I think Dig was expecting a little bit more success from Forrest's play. He gets that first kill. The trade immediately kind of negates his position over at Ebox. Nice try from Dick. They still have a one-round lead. Not too bad early on in this offensive half. Going into round number eight, already with four rounds. You gotta be happy about that one. And they got money to buy up again. AWP on Holzerk, and AKs to surround it. Yeah, and I think the, you know... The moment of uh, of truth is right now for Dig because if they lose this round, then Mouse Sports will start to build their own economy in a in a decent fashion, and they will run out and have to save. And suddenly, you know, from having a pretty good lead, they could actually be quite far behind. And again, on the T side of train, I mean, when you start to fall behind, and and the CT start side will start to accumulate more HEs and Molotovs, it's it's going to be a problem. We've seen it so many times in the past. Yeah, they would, I mean, obviously, really would like to get back to the winning ways earlier on and maybe a few more kills in some of these close round losses. More aggressive defense coming out from Sports this time Frozen in ladder room. He's even got Kerrigan along the wall in support right by Ebox. So really putting an emphasis on getting close up to these choke points. Keep the spacing for Woxic with that AWP out towards Ivy. And a two-man stack again towards the inner bombsite. Chris J far back with an AWP and Rops up close. A lot of waiting once again. Nothing much being done to force Frozen into the fight. So they're just at a bit of a standoff right now. Bringing the bomb over this way though while leaving um, again. Well this time I actually get right I think all the way down at Ivy. Oh Freiburg no once again sorry it is Freiburg down there. Yeah, get right just threw out a smoke towards the lower ramp, and I think this is going to be a pop flash in towards main. Mouse Sports is starting to look for information because get right was trying to bait out a little bit of utility. I don't think it worked. But Mouse Sports still doesn't fully realize what's happening. There's a lot of different things happening across the map, but they're all small individual plays from Dig. Now, just under 20 seconds, they're going to attack this bomb site. Rob's taking his time with the shot. He transfers over. Look at the clock. 11 seconds, 10 seconds now. It's the enemy of Dig. They're going to get in. They'll be able to get this plant down as Chris J backs off. Allsuck actually has a Molotov back here, and there are no more smokes being Ooh. picked up for us. Great headshots taken down Kerrigan and Woxic. Who needs the Molotovs at that range? It's going to be Allsuck going down, and Frozen will take down for us. They somehow lined up for him. What a chaotic round. And now it's a two-on-two. -two. Chris with the AWP Frozen on the flank, but he himself is getting flanked, and I don't think he realizes just yet. He's a second away from death. They could just turn the corner, get right inside of the bomb side. No chance, but here comes Freiburg. Can he clutch it? One versus two seconds away from the DFU. He gets back around the corner and makes his escape, and that is the round. I can't even believe it. Chris will get the kill, but it won't matter. That was a close one. Oh my god, Forrest is disgusting. He just stands tall on sidewalk and challenges. They have no smokes down. They have no Molotovs in the choke point. He's holding them off by sheer force of will. That second one tap is filthy. Two round lead now. Look at this from Forrest. Clean, one well in control, and oh. bang. Ah, uh, he saw it coming, didn't he? What a cheeky play. And that would have been, again, the, the reset for Dig. They wouldn't have had money to buy. It would have been, been a disaster. Look at what they forced Mouse Sports to buy in this round. How much money is lost. Oh, Woxic staying real cool. In spite of yeah, everything. Yeah, calm and collected.
Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's, you know, I guess you kind of have to. Maybe they're just used to it. It's forest after all. They're just like, all right, well, we've all been one tap by forest in our day. Everyone has the to tough have part a is no, <laughs> nobody on the uh, the AWP is not going to be out for dig, which Halzerk is obviously favored uh, within this Swedish attack. Attack of the Swedes sounds like a weird. And uh, movie. he's Halzerk is Nor Norwegian, isn't he? Oh yeah, is a good point. Well, I believe. I'm sure the Swedes are thinking one day that'll be their country too. So <laughs> maybe this is the first adaptation. This is the first step of their global conquest. Something like that. Oh dear. That actually looked like it was going to be a pretty good swing. AK versus M MP9 in there. But there was an AWP in the background, and that does make a, that's a swing to the table a little bit for uh, for the CT side. Rob's going down, and still inside of the B bomb side is get right up close to the C connector. Can he freeze them in place? Can he hold them there while the bomb goes down? Exist stopping the flank this time. Frozen not going to get in. They jump out and actually trick get right, so Chris can get the kill. That's a clever play. And now it's a two on two. Freiburg up close with the AK and really far behind is Exist. He wants to get in and try and help out, but he's going to get himself killed instead. And Freiburg he's going to get swung on it. That's a nice retake from our sports i like the attempt from dig though I, I like seeing them be that proactive on the map when they lose forest you might as well go for it just two players walking out get right and holzerk able to find the entry just no success from there which is unfortunate but i like the aggressiveness of that play from dig and a really good recovery for mouse sports but it feels like mouse sports is just is just barely holding on to this match. They are having so much pressure put onto them. And finally, now that might abate a little bit because Dig is out of money. Yeah, it had to happen at some point. And, and I mean, it's kind of a sad, right? Because they actually survived the, uh, you know, the, the big test. And then Mouse Sports had just enough money to buy into that previous round. And then they kept going. Small detail as well. Chris J wall banged Forrest from CT mid. I wonder what would have happened if Kerrigan had gone down to force AK-47. Good nade up top, and Rops has got to hold on to the inner bomb site. He's got support, and with that nade, Dig fall back. That's a powerful grenade. I don't blame them for uh, giving up on that one. It may, it may also be because they salvaged the AWP. They're like, oh, we can give Halzerk the op. Let's see if he can, you know, get lucky and find us a pick. Let's see if someone walks into a crosshair, if he can get aggressive. Yeah, I almost want to give that up to Forrest. I mean, Holzerk's been great, but he's also on 19 health. And it's not like the rest of them have deagles or anything that could sort of, like, create some space. They just have glocks, so this AWP is going to have to be it. Yeah, there we go. Forrest being given a chance now. Someone jump for him and then jump him down afterwards. I feel like that's got to be the play. Make some space and then just cross your fingers and hope that it works out. There's the jump. Space not being created. The uh, clock's getting chewed apart. I guess that's a, that's a predictable outcome. Yeah, maybe they needed a rabbit's foot instead of fingers crossed. That probably would have done it. Yeah, you an expert in this five kind of thing, Jason? To five. Yeah, you gotta have all the lucky charms out there. The horseshoe, actual lucky charm cereal. Jason, given how your life has turned out, I'm not, I'm not inclined to take advice on luck from you. I'm just not gonna lie. I feel like... I feel like it's not going your way so far. Universe often against you. I don't I know. I get a cast Counter Strike for a living. Seems like things are going pretty okay. With me? <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> okay, good point. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't take that angle. <laughs> You're right. I do have some pretty shit luck. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think about that, did you? Kerrigan does go down. <laughs> he's, uh, he's done. And get right. Sneakily waiting and robs. Again, it's kind of a classic situation when you get a, an early kill on that CT side. Very often the CTs will try and, you know, do something to bring it back. They'll try and react somewhere else and get right saw it coming. They've taken a lot of damage, but they're still in a five on three. Yeah, the problem, though, is because of the damage on Get Right and Force, they're so very low. Those are easy, easy multi-kills for Mouse Sports. Dig actually has to be very careful how they play the rest of this round. I absolutely love this from Get Right. Again, the rest of his team with one minute, they're going to start rotating back to the B bombsite, but they can be cautious with how they approach this. Let Get Right have the time to make this play. Freiburg, that's, uh, that's a nice skill to sneak in. I think he just heard the scope there, and as you said, get right, sneaking all the way through. He built an entire career on being able to do this, and I mean, for a long time, that's not something we've really seen out of him, but it's, it's interesting to see that start to creep back in again. 
Nice. Mate, this is this is cool. Dig throughout this entire half have been. Uh, this has not really been like an overpowering half from Dig on offense. This has been like a really sneaky, like knife in the back assassination. Yeah. Style of play. The amount of times we've seen someone lurk towards Ivy, lurk in that inner bomb site, and it hasn't always been get right. We've seen Freiburg as we just did over towards Ivy. We saw Exist previously over towards Ivy, and get right given a little shrug. Yeah, that's wonderful. Oh, the jump down. Oh, I wanted that to work. Holsuck had the right idea. Frozen did have his jump on the uh, door frame. So that helps out a little bit. They got three AWPs now that Frozen has picked up one. Why not? If you get it for free, might as well do it. Problem now is this is where you'd really hope that Getride can make one of his plays. And he's got to take advantage of the smoke he just threw. But look at how close Rops is with the Deagle. And he goes down immediately. Oh, almost gets it through the smoke. That's what? Chris J. Very low and taken out. And Get Right has done it. A classic move. He's opened up the other side of the map for, for, for Dig. Excuse me. He could do it again. Almost getting down Kerrigan. That could have easily been a kill there with the AK-47. Absolutely outrageous. Warksick looking at the smoke, but again, this is one of those positions, if he fails the shot, if he just legs him, he's probably going to be dead and it'll be a two-on-two. Two. 50 seconds now and Dig are waiting. They want, they want another mistake coming out here from Mouse Sports, which they're not getting right now. Well, it's going to be Freiburg in an isolated one versus one against Frozen. That's the big battle. How do you cross this line that Frozen has held, especially if you're trying to be quiet? And the answer, oh my God, he saw it. He saw it, he gets to pre-fire the op. Long distance shot from Woxic is missed. Oh my God, but he did respond perfectly under exist. Freiburg in a one versus two bomb is being planted as well. Freiburg still in it, but Woxic showing up. I actually, I'm so shocked that Woxic got that flick on Freiburg because he was looking at, the, oh sorry, over at the exist was it. Freiburg, he was looking at all the way throughout the long corridor of that bomb site and somehow still able to do it. That's a great triple kill from Woxic. I did not see that coming. Wow, they really that, chilled out. That round was... That was some uh, that was some heart attacks in that round. Miss shots. I don't know. I want to see Woxic with that with that miss, and then the conversion over to Exist. That had to have been pretty quick because I thought Exist would certainly have the jump on him. But man, that's a that's a great entrance provided. Here it is. No. Nope. We'll find it. We'll find it later. We'll figure out a way. Because yeah, I agree. <laughs> that that probably was the 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 main kill there. Six to six, which is still, I mean, from Dig's point of view, this is just a really, really great scoreline to go into the uh, second half with. I don't think they're going to be sad at all in this. Holzuk winning the Battle of Ivy, though. Kerrigan also going to get traded after taking one down. And this time, look at the change of pace coming out of Dig. They're so much faster. Frozen will win the fight against Forrest, though, and that's a big deal. Oh my god, I can't believe he got a second kill there. That's a wild spray. And again, Mouse Sports just barely holding on with kills from Frozen. Exists, gonna go down inside the smoke. Chris J just messing with him. Seven to six. I think it's, I, again, very impressive Mouse Sports is hanging on in this game, much less having a lead. They're doing a, a phenomenal job of maintaining this. I'm really, really, really impressed. Six to seven. I think six rounds already here for the T side is really great. I mean, they've run out of cash, and I think that's that's maybe the thing that'll that'll put a smooth end to this first half for Mouse Sports. If they can win the next two rounds, nine six, I don't think they're going to be too devastated at that. But this is a strong test right now. Hall circuit twelve and eight. That's really something. All right, well, let's see what Dig has. That was a pretty painful round to lose for them. If they had won that, they would have decimated the Mouse Sports economy. They could have had a huge jump in a lead going into the second half. Now they've got to fight for it. And maybe not even fight in this round. Low $2,000 on most of the players for the Dig side of things. So yeah, might be an area where they just sit and wait for the final round of the half and go for that 7-8 scoreline. I do, I do like the fact that they weren't so aggressive in that last round. I think it's just, it's a nice way to change the pace would, and hope to catch mouse balls. Yeah. And unfortunately, they were never able to get multi kills. It was just like one for one trading all the way down, and mouse sports eventually came out on top. That that double kill from Frozen that he gets yeah. is is probably the is probably the sequence that keeps Dig in that round because it looked like they were on the verge of collapse there. One round difference between the two. And Dig just going to try and get a plant down. No utility. They're going to try and bum rush with clocks and just get the bomb planted in this B-bomb site. Hard to see how that's going to work out without the armor. 
they need it to get an AWP on the field. This is actually quietly like a pretty big consequence. If they can't get this plant, there's going to be no AWP in the next round, and they're not going to get it. Ooh, maybe they will. Maybe they will get that plant for us. Wow. Oh, he's done it. That's perfect. Yeah, I did not think that was going to I think the MP7 on there made me think he's going to chew them all up, but somehow able to do it. So the $800 bonus and plus the round loss bonus, that means they can... They can maybe just put it together. I don't know if Forrest wants to try and risk it, but... It'll be it'll be Glass Canyon or oh, Light yeah. Armor. It's Glass Cannon on Holzerk. So yeah, that plant is the difference between having the AWP and not. Good job from Dig to get that weapon in the field of play. Still going to be a bit risky without the armor. Oh, these are the fan cams. That's what I'm talking about. That's fantastic. I, I, I'm shocked that we could do this. Technology is amazing. Um... 2020 20, really offering us something. Get more of those guys. It's frozen. Get to put to the test by the e box, and he goes down. Chris will take one. Carrigan with another one. And wildly no scoping for the smoke. You're not exactly what the doctor ordered at all. Carrigan will go down to Exist and now sneaking out his robs. That's the bomb on the ground, so now they definitely know it's just Exist and Forest left at a very, very rough two versus three. But the smoke fades, and Forest gets a kill. He's down to 10 health, though. HP doesn't matter. We're up against two AWPs. Outside of that Molotov, these ops are going to have to clean up very injured players. I, Woxic didn't see that elbow? How did that happen? This is all timing. If Forrest peaks on top as well, oh, that's no. a tough swing up. And now it's a two-on-one. Woxic has to just play it passive and hold the line. Yeah, but as you said, again, with the AWP, if he fires the shot and misses, or even if he gets the kill, if someone else is there to pick him up right afterwards, that could be absolutely deadly. 48 seconds, a long time for him to be waiting around here for someone to cross this angle and Exist has a good idea. I think he has a feeling that maybe someone's out here. They're going to try and see if they can maybe do it at the same time. The jump past and Woxic not giving away, but he might have still been spotted. And now Exist just holding the line. He could be dead already if he just keeps backing up like this. He's going to win the fight anyway. What a quick reaction from Woxic. Yeah, but he has no information about where Forrest is going now. Climbing the ladder. Walks it going to turn the corner. We'll see absolutely nothing. Hard to guess that he's up there. I mean, it's paper thin that wall. He gets, he gets spamming him through, but if he doesn't know, it doesn't really matter. He's now almost walking under him. Smoke going to be up, but that won't matter. There's the AK. And obviously very well versed on, on their own team cohesion and strategies as well. So Mouse Sports is able to steal some rounds away from them, but Dick put themselves in a good spot to take this map. Yeah, you see some of the multi-kill potential from people like Frozen and Woxic. It's just, you know, you give them even just a little bit and it can actually just crumble around for you. But now they're on the CT side. If they can win the pistol, they can start to really build something they are i mean seven rounds on the t side of train i would consider that a pretty big success yeah especially when you lose the pistol remember they had the yeah. early rebuttal of winning that second round a lot of the rounds in that t side were built off that second round conversion for for dig it was a struggle they labored to get gun rounds on despite playing a very cool half but the number doesn't lie seven that's going to be tough for mouse sports to beat pistol round has slowed down just a little bit and Freiburg going to get up behind that smoke. He's got to be very careful. Frozen, what a great angle. And he could see a bit more than Freiburg liked. Yeah, and they're going to pounce behind it. They want to go quick and hunt him down. And that almost works. But Forrest is ready. Just gets the USP out in time. And he wants a swing. He wants a fight while they're putting the bomb down. He's almost out of bullets. That is such a bold play. And it may completely backfire and blow up in their faces here. Get right and exist. How do they win this? Two on four. It begins at least with a kill there on Kerrigan. But... They have a kit and no smoke, so how you could possibly defuse the bomb here is just beyond me. It's going to take a long time while they try and get these fights, and they're being actually very, very slow about it. Get right now, swinging for it. He's going to have to get on that bomb right away so he can force the fight, and maybe Exist could try and pick it up. He's moving forward. That bomb is being defused now, and actually Exist being really big, trying to take up a lot of space. Get right with the headshot, but now comes the flank. Chris gets one, Exist with the other, and he can't win the round. It's a That's actually an impressive two on four but they didn't have the time. Yeah, that's so tough. They put together the position of two players. They just never were able to get a good read or a good angle on Chris J. What great aggressive rush from him to get around that bomb train. Both pistols now, one from Mouse Sports. Man, I love this play from Forrest. You talk about this all the time, is especially with newer players, their fight selection when they have two or three targets on their screen. Yes. That's a rare time. I think you're going to see Forrest Brain shut down when he turns the corner and see three opponents. He couldn't pick which one he wanted to shoot at first. 
Yeah, I mean, and it's it, the problem with that with with that particular uh, challenge, right? Is that it's not it's not that Forrest doesn't know what the right play is. It's that your brain is sort of telling you something else. Like you're actually finding your own instincts, which is you're like, oh, there's so many targets. I'll sort of I'll tag up like three different players and then die. Not. It's not just that as well. You're also fighting the urge because you know you're overexposed to ladder room as well, right? Like you know yeah. if someone is peeking from ladder room or e box, or if just the t you just die. So there's 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 a lot of like really weird pressures in that kind of a swing. Even so, he had the chance to maybe not stop the plant, but certainly at least get one of those kills, and then who knows what happens from there. Two round lead for Mouse Sports, nine to seven, as they try and hold on to the advantage given by a pistol round victory. Didn't go so well for them in the first half. And this time they're up against Deagles, C said, a couple of scouts. This could be dangerous. Look at the tags coming out. Grenade on Chris. My god, they're losing a lot of health now without any real response. And Exist is sneaking up. Oh, this could actually be a real disaster. Oh, Frozen's got the kill on the force, and there's Rops and Ladder Room. Nice tag from Freiburg, but most of the danger is abated, although they are very low in HP. Get right, that's a huge win, and now it's all turning just like that. Frozen, low HP over towards Ivy, gonna try and wrap around into the bomb train. No one's watching it just yet. This could be the winning recipe. Frozen might have just found the one gap in this defense. He's traded immediately. Ten seconds. 12 seconds on the clock for Rops to push up to the train. Oh, wow. That is absolutely outrageous. They were, you're right, they were so low on health that once it started to crumble a bit, they just all went down in the space of one second. Whole circle with the triple kill. Dig win the second round again. And then, and then nobody has the HP to take any more fights after that. What a great, that's that's twice now. Both pistol rounds won by Mouse Sports, both second rounds won by Dig. That is, that's a remarkable turn of events. I'm, I mean, we haven't seen many frustrated cams coming out from Mouse Sports, but it's got to start to happen surely at some point. They're going to start to feel the frustration of not being able to put some of these rounds together. Get right. I don't know. Offering himself up. Jumped right into the crosshairs. Uh, never had any idea that Kerrigan was out there. So yeah, that's a bit lackadaisical. So is that from Freiburg. Oh, dig. Don't do this to yourselves. All those frustrated mouse sports faces, they're going to disappear right now. Kerrigan is just a battering ram. Yeah, this can't happen, can it? Nice return oh. from Forrest. This Galil, he's trying to fight his way back in. He'll take a third one, and somehow it's a 2 on 2 but they could still lose this round with just, again, a, a little bit of misfortune here. Chris is holding the B-bomb side. He's, Forrest is deathmatching. That's all this is right now. The timing for when exists can get back. He sure, certainly hears those footsteps, but no, he's creeping towards the outer yard. This bomb plant, and the time that mouse sports have to relocate, that should give them this victory. I don't know if Dig is going to be able to find these two players and the defuse in time. I don't know how you do that. I mean, how do you even peek into this bomb site without dying? If you're either one of them, just one missed opportunity and you're going to be dead, and then it's a two on one, and definitely no chance of winning it. Woxic nearly missing the timing there. Exist walking up behind him and shooting him in the back, and he has the kit. That's huge. Now he can try and run down, but this long angle, Chris, how long can he keep it for? There's Exist going down. Another bullet will take down Forrest. He's got a kit picked up, but I don't think it matters anymore. There is not enough time, even with the kill. It's such a shame because it's a great quad kill for Forrest. Nice comeback from Mouse Sports, though. Yeah, I hear bombsite all on his own. That round was lost way before Forrest got involved. He was the only one that kept them even with a chance, the slimmest of chances. Two round lead for Mouse Sports in this back and forth is way more painful for Dig. Mouse Sports is loving this at the moment, the fact that they're able to convert that. If the money can never grow, Dig is always going to feel uncomfortable. And as we get deeper into this, the pressure is obviously going to sink in a little bit heavier. Yeah, fans are uh, fans are excited. I like to see it. They should be. I mean, mouse sports are uh, definitely not out of this yet. Definitely saw one guy with a mouse sports shirt there. Ten to eight, and um, they're trying to see if they can maybe put some pressure on this bomb side early on. Not respecting the pistols of Dig, and uh, they shouldn't. They've won the round already. Bomb has been planted. That's great. Yeah, that's uh, nice and easy. It's, it's always fun when you have a nice, uh, low-pressure, low-intensity round like this. Makes you feel way more calm. They haven't had many Three of those. 2 lead for Mouse Sports. No, they haven't. They haven't had them at all. Diggs had a couple in the first half. 
I'm I'm really interested to see what this half is going to look like once money gets on the board. I'm actually surprised to see Dig invest in this fashion with Get Right, Deagle Armor, Forest, Deagle Armor. That's a lot of money that they probably could have used moving forward. Mouse Sports is going to get a pretty solid lead to the point where it's now going to have to be a comeback for Dig. It's no longer, you know, a back and forth battle for control. This is full blown going to have to be a comeback from Dignitas. Yeah, they, uh, and again, even in this next round, right, the economy is not really looking that great. They'd love to at least be able to pick up that one AWV on Holzerg. That would be a, a bit of a beginning, but that's still another round away. So they're going to have to cross their fingers and hope that this works out. Doing damage would still be a pretty big deal. Last round was pretty cheap for mouse forts. We do have a taser on Holzerk. You do love to see that. Where is he positioned? He is over towards Ivy. No, excuse me. He's inside at the moment, but Ivy is where the action is. Freiburg and Forrest with a crossfire that's now negated by the smoke. Good shot, he needs to build. He wants more, he swings for it. Double kill from Forrest. That could have actually been even bigger, I think. Get right also sneaking down there. Waiting on the other side of the smoke. I think Frozen seems to know he's got the right read and the smoke is gonna fade. Frozen doesn't want to try and challenge it in case someone's hiding inside. But he's really got the, yeah, the understanding here. Get right. Can't easily swing for that fight. Also sneaking up behind, but the USP, and I think a little bit of panic there is still get right to pick up the one kill. Oh, they're coming for him. He nearly get that, got that kill on Robs. If he could have done it, maybe he could have snuck back for the reload. That's an expensive round. Some good shooting coming out of Dig. Yeah, but here we go. I mean, this is this is the first round where get Dig is able to have a competing buy with the rifles of Mouse Sports. And we're what? This is the sixth round of the half, and we still haven't seen Dig able to challenge in this fashion. Yeah. AWP on Holzerk. He's going to start Glass Cannon. There's no kits picked up by the Dig side quite yet. Freiburg is going to grab the only one. Shout out to Freiburg. The teammate you want. Always right. Four people on the outside leaving Exist inside with just a smoke and a flash to at least buy time in case they were going to come for him quickly, but... They slowed it right down, Mouse Sports. They're in a bit of a waiting pattern themselves. Not seeing anything exciting coming out of Dig right now, which I guess is fine. But yeah, this is maybe one of the last chances they're going to have to turn it around. Ooh, Freiburg going down through the smoke against Walksick over at Ivy. Not at the start, they need it. A lot of silence following that kill. Nobody's even making any moves here on the dig side. Get right, that fire is spreading and oh no, he keeps burning and walks right into it. I think he thought that was gonna put all of it out but it somehow didn't, that is a disaster. We always talk about that evolving meta of taking ladder and that double Molotov trick is, is one of the one of the older older tricks in the book to be able to take into ladder room. Get right just completely stumped by it. And Dig is doing the only thing they really can do in this situation. Stacking a bomb site, stacking towards inner, and just hoping that Mouse Sports ends up here. It's not gonna happen. Two players have already come out Ivy. They've seen everything's clear. They have no pressure. This is gonna be a free round for Mouse Sports. And then Dig, like you have no more chances after this round. You have to start winning going into round 22. Wow, I mean, it, it's one thing to lose Freiburg down at Ivy. That, I mean, that can happen in any given round, but the, the, I think it's just the fashion in which Get Right goes down as well. They just know that's it. Nothing more to really fight for. Yeah, you don't get a whole lot of information that you didn't already have. He didn't even really get a chance to fight and do damage or maybe grab one kill before going down. So yeah, his death was, was for, for nothing. I mean, same, same with Freiburg's essentially with that pick. Now, if I'm Mouse Sports, I'm hunting. They have money built up early on in this half, early on in this win streak of theirs. They've got 6k on Rops. They've got 4k on Woxic. I, I'd, I'd be willing to sacrifice two of these AK-47s to see if you can trade some of these other weapons out in the dig hands. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. I mean, it is dangerous leaving them with three rifles like this. If they win the next round, then... Yeah, they could really start building, whereas if you could just find one more of them, it would... It, at the very least, they'd have to spend Ooh. a lot more economy. That's a nasty boost up. Yeah, this one hurts. That fire... The fire behind him was kept spreading way longer than he expected. 
coaches are in. Uh, All right. right. Like to see it. Coach camps. We've always wanted coach camps. Well, Thirteen to eight. Loxic looking for the upper peak. That's not coming quite yet. Halzerk now with armor and that AWP and CT con sees absolutely nothing. This is a very slow and measured start to the round for Mouse Sports. Yeah, once again, giving themselves space. I mean, last time when they, when they had this approach, right, it was Woxic finding the opening. There's no reason not to try that again. Just got, you know, the first 30 seconds of the round. Why not just sort of, you know, move him around a bit, try and see if he could find somewhere to go. What do they do after that? Oh, some, some wall bangs coming out. They don't really do that much damage, but it's got to be annoying. Really annoying. Yeah, and uh, Mouse Sports hasn't really given their hand yet. They still have plenty of utility. So many flashes, three smokes. They have a Molotov as well to play with. And the bomb is just now rotating into box halls. Halzerk is far back with an AWP watching the upper ramp. Exists close up behind this smoke. Yes, he is. Look at the time. There, 34 seconds. Yeah, there seems to be like there's... There's going to be some kind of fake, this feels like. Yeah, I mean, they almost have to go back to pick up with the rest that of the That was it. Yeah, but it wasn't much of a fake. It might have been enough. Oh. Anyway, Robs gets a kill for us, though. Close range. Takes down one. He was ready to fight Chris. He saw that coming, but he couldn't actually finish the kill. I mean, 18 seconds now as they take down Holzerg. Somehow, this is actually working out for Mouse Sports and Chris J. That's a long yeah. range with that AK-47. He drops Freiburg, leaving Exist alone in a one versus three. That's a great round out of Robs. That a dig bit way too hard on that fake. What one nade, one smoke, and Kerrigan comes down lower ramp. That pulled everyone out of position, and that can't happen. Forrest had to get a multi kill there if Dig wanted to hold on to that round. He had to find Chris J after the initial frag, or else they lost everything. Freiburg got pulled all the way from Ivy towards the inner bomb site. Rounds like these are also the reason why we can't have a vendetta cam in case we needed it, because he'd just be screaming and foaming at the mouth and maybe probably ripping out his webcam at this point in time. So. <laughs> That doesn't punching work, the so monitors, yeah. Punching the monitors, yeah. It's. I'm sure we. I sh I'm sure someone wanted to do it, but it just wasn't possible. So, twenty third <laughs> round. Dick said, "Please, we cannot have our employees shown in that light." Yeah, we don't. We don't Oof. stand by this at all. We don't in endorse it. <laughs> we keep oh, sending them cameras, is... and they keep they keep breaking. Yeah, they they keep just shutting down randomly. Man, it's, it's kind of crazy to think that Dig has only won the second round. The only round that they've won, they were at a severe disadvantage going into it. Yeah, I mean, and now the economy is it's so dreadful. Mouse sports have, I mean, recovered incredibly well from what wasn't really that much of an impressive first half if you look at the scores. But they just kept their cool. We were talking about them not really showing much of any kind of an emotion. And, and maybe this is the reason why they were like, whatever, man, we can just do it on the seaside. Yeah, a, a very cool T side for Dig is just so... Well... Oh. That's unfortunate for Get Right. Nice shot from Freiburg to follow it up. He gets another tag. One player's close. Hull Zirk in response. And now Forrest gets put into play. Tapping away with the M4A1. Exists in a one versus one. CZ versus off. Uh, Woxley making a lot of noise. He's almost going to get shot in the side of the head. Oh, and there it is. I actually thought he turned in time. That, that's a very, very close one on one. Those are the only two rounds that they've won is a second round with a scout and upgraded pistols. And now this one, scout and upgraded pistols and, and one rifle. They're going to call a timeout. They know they've been given one last gift. They must make this work. Man, that is close. Yeah, they really haven't given a bit of a gift here. They even picked up that AWP for Holzerk. And I mean, if they can't convert this into a string of rounds, then... Whatever, whatever job they did on the first half, it's not going to be enough. Forrest is 22 kills. Robs is at 22 as well. Yeah, going blow for blow. That's quite nice. Man, well, the nice thing, I guess there's a little bit of a cushion for Dig if they're to lose this. They have some cash built up. $1,000 on Exist after the buy. $1,600 on Hullzerk. $1,000 on Forrest as well. So they've got some things to play with for that final round or, or that, that map, map point round for Mouse Sports, but... They, they need to string a few together here to get close. 
And Hulzerk needs to light something beneath him with that AWP. That's the chance for a pick. You'd like to see him. You'd like to start feeling more of an impact in this second half from him. I agree, because he was a spectacular. Well, it's not, it's, it's way less surgical than the AWP. It's just bombing grenades and Molotovs into main and they get the kill on Kerrigan. I'm sure they'll take it, but uh, I agree. He had such an impact in the first half. Need to see it here in the second half too. Get right going down this. Freiburg with a bit of revenge and Forrest also by the E-Box. They know he's there and they know he's trapped and they just keep him there and fight him and both have gone down. Now Exist and Holzerk. He's been smoked off this whole time. This defense has crumbled a couple times just on the littlest bit of pressure that Mouse Sports is applying. They're not able to get those crossfires to be as effective as they'd like, Dig. For now, it's this is where we just said. We called out Hall Zerk, said we'd like to feel a bit more impact from him. This round is all on him. He's going to have contact if they try and cross the line, except that, except Exist peaked. He went for it, which again, I mean, that's what Mouse Force wanted. They were just calling a pause there saying, just wait, let him make a mistake, and they did get one. I like the repositioning here from Hall Zerk. Once you fire the gun, it's, it's better to try and get some element of surprise back in your favor, but with... Woxic all the way back there with Frozen and that Molotov. Oh, he did see him. Big opportunity. He's now jumping up, making a bit of noise on top of the train. He goes for it and he likes him. I mean, that would have been quite the kill, but it's 15 rounds instead for Mouse Sports, and they are at uh, map point here. Best they could do now yeah, is tie the and now it's, it's Exactly, but you'd have to do something you haven't been able to do in this, in this half, which is when... I mean, you obviously have to win six in a row now, but they haven't even been able to do two. They haven't won two rounds in a row since round five. It's been that long since Dig had any kind of consistent success. These, I mean, those round victories for Dig in the first half and even the couple in the second half, they're just blips on the radar screen. They're not any kind of impressive trend any longer when you look back. Exist gonna play defense. They're gonna come right through the smoke. There's the first kill, but they're blinded. Kerrigan goes down as well. Good hold, and that's the bomb on the floor. This should be a one round for Dig. Mouse Sports tried to deliver a knockout punch, and they gave a little bit of life over to Dig one more time. I like the theory behind going for a knockout, and you're saying, you know what, we're at 15 rounds. Like, let's get that 16th one and just, you know, just a flash into the B bomb site. But, but with the smoke up and the bomb actually dropping, you know, inside of the bomb site, that's an issue. Nice shot from Freiburg with that scout. Yeah, no doubt. And it'd be great if they could get this AWP. You almost feel like maybe Walk 6 should try and throw it away. You believe it in the comeback, Anders? You in? I'm definitely in. I've, I see, I see, <laughs> I see Fifi at the controls. I'm sure Vendetta has composed himself in the meantime. It's all going to be fine. So again, all your faith is put in players not actually playing the game. I know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it? Uh, uh, you've, you've walked right, right into that trap twice. Can't I would it. imagine Dig is just keeping him boxed in to punish him after the timer, I, I would guess, but they don't really have the money to lose a whole lot of guns down the stretch of this round. Long, long solo fight coming out. Finally, they get rid of him, and Forrest has the AWP, so... What about you, Jason? Do you do you really believe in the comeback? You had to pick this well to win this. I did, and I felt a lot of faith going into halftime, and it all disappeared very quickly after that when we returned from the break. Oh, is that coming back? So, no, I don't really have a whole lot of confidence at the moment. Why has he got a pizza behind it's him? It's certainly a possibility. That's the best fan <laughs> yeah. cam yet. He's got a pizza green screen yeah. behind him. What a genius. <laughs> and it's not a tuna pizza, so it's even better. Uh, I wouldn't... I don't know about that, Jason. I don't know about that. We'll have to... I'll get you to get you have one one day. You'll see. You'll be converted in an instant. Just you wait. Frozen and Woxic are uh, both low on health, but not, not as much as Chris getting shot in the kneecaps. <laughs> yeah. Chris is uh, that, that friend who just one-ups you every time. They're just like, I'm low, I'm, I'm tagged, and he's like, yeah, well, I'm in red, so suck it. Always making sure and everyone else doesn't feel bad about it. I guess that's good news. What do you do now, though, when half the team, or more than half the team, is really low? You can fall oh. into the, the standard play on train. If all else fails, just run into a uh, B hit. That's a flashbang, so no damage dealt. Four players to attack. You've got Exist close up at the upper ramp at an off angle. 
Oh dear, this, no, that's not good. That is a tough loss to take. And now it's a very difficult retake. Yes, it is. Freiburg, though, he's still closer. I don't think they realize that he's here just yet. He sneaks in, gets the kill. He turns. He almost could have had it. A bullet would have taken down Chris, but he somehow stayed alive. And yeah, you're right. They're in a lot of trouble here. Two on four. Out of all the ways that they could maybe lose this game, I feel like this would actually be really heartbreaking. They've done so much damage, but that one kill on exists on the high ground, that may have been everything Mouse Sports needed. Forrest jumping down. He's been spotted. He's down and out. Chris will hit another shot, and that's going to be six.